Welcome back all, this is Jake with my bring back going through your second tutorial on Objective-C programming. And in the previous tutorial we downloaded Xcode, alright, so now we're on to actually opening up Xcode, let's see what it looks like, let's kinda, let's experiment with the program basically. Okay, so after your, your initial install, you know, Apple makes it nice because it's a nice package, it's already got the SDK involved in it, it's already got all the tools that you need. So now you're wondering, okay, where to go? Well, you know, you installed it, maybe you didn't put a shortcut on your desktop or anything like that. So what you're going to do is open up your Finder and go to your Macintosh HD, your hard drive, and then you'll see Developer, a folder called Developer. Go into Developer, and the top thing you'll see Applications. Once you click into Applications, you'll see four main tools, instruments, programs to basically develop your, your programs and so on and so forth. The top three are going to be kind of used later on to test, um, put together your program. Xcode is what we're going to be dealing with primarily um, to get going, look around what we're doing. So what I would recommend is taking Xcode and actually putting it on your dock. So it's easy to find, you don't have to go into your finder every time to open the, the uh, program. But just drag it down to your dock, let it sit there, and uh, it'll be easy to get to for the future tutorials. So go ahead and open up Xcode, and the first thing that we're going to do is this top menu here, create a new Xcode project. So as we click create a new Xcode project, we are basically prompted with choosing a template for your new project. Okay, so we're going to go into application here and then select command line tool. So you can see we've got iOS on the top and then we've got Mac OS 10. In this case we're just going to be going through the command line tool which is going to help us write the Objective C and understand it and then we're going to also test out different things in the command line tool here. So select that and click next. Give your project or your product a name here so we're just going to call it Objective C and then make sure your type is foundation. You can see there's other options, C++, um, programming in C, but we're learning Objective-C, so we're just going to use the foundation type here, and then click Next. Go ahead and save your project wherever you'd like in that menu. And then we're prompted with basically our project, our building setups, building phase, building rules, all in this main area. We're just going to avoid this section for now, get into it a little bit later, um, or watch some of the Xcode 4 tutorials. I kind of mentioned some of this stuff in there. But what our main importance is, is over to the left we've got the project or the, the application, what we're building over here with the classes and supporting files, frameworks, etc. So if you click main.m, you'll see we've got a bunch of gibberish in here. We've got some notes, we've got some importing of, of the foundation, um, we've got some different stuff here, down here, etc. This is where we're going to start, and this is where we're going to be for a little bit, just learning some of the basics. But with this, once you get everything loaded, your project kind of set up, what we're going to do is just run it and see what the basics is. Because we can already see we've got an NS log, which this is going to be basically exporting whatever we put in the NS log into the uh, run phase here. So you can do one of two things, click run up here, or just click command R on your keyboard. And then we're going to pull this up a little bit. And if you guys aren't familiar with this, up to the top right here are different views. And so you can see if we drop the middle down there, this is our debugger screen. You can pop it up and down, which gives us what we've actually logged. So basically our program has written a timestamp, basically said, okay, we are Objective-C, and the NS log that we have up here is hello world, which shows up perfect there. So that's how you know that the project ran successfully, it's logged it, and uh, now we're ready to go into the next tutorial of, let's kind of modify this, let's figure our way a little bit more around on Xcode, and uh, continue through. So. Let us know um, if you're lost already. Um, yeah, you may just want to drop us a message. Otherwise, subscribe. Let us know uh, kind of what you're looking to do and what you're having troubles with, and we'll continue on. All right, peace out, guys.